Hey, what's up, y'all, and welcome to another CMJ World Vlogs. I am Argosy Jones, and so I know it's been a minute since I dropped my last vlog, but yeah, things just kept happening. I've been busy, and plus, I was going to talk about more of the Jonathan Major situation because there's more stuff that's been coming out, but it's just crazy. I sat down and I recorded one video. Not too long after that, came out more information. And then I'm like, okay. So I ended up recording another video for that. And before I could even edit that video, more stuff came out. So just to kind of sum it all up real quick, because I don't want to make this video too long. So basically on top of his management and PR team dropping him, he also got dropped from some upcoming film projects that he had locked down, which was a project called The Man in the Basement, as well as the oldest Reading project and then to add to the whole situation more victims had came out to cooperate with the investigation against him for domestic violence and to combat that the uh, lawyer finally submitted the evidence that show that he is innocent that literally disproves anything that's going against him as far as these allegations and so let me go ahead and just give my thoughts. So, first of all, I, I, I said in my other videos that, you know, it's just kind of not looking great for him. You have a guy that has a star that's on the rise and literally it seems like the rug is getting taken from under him because he's literally got all these projects lined up and he's just becoming a bigger name. And then all of a sudden you have these allegations against him. And then he's losing his management team, PR. He's losing future projects. More victims are coming out. So it's like, where can it go from here? Like, what can happen to change the complexion of the whole thing? And it's like, it just looks like it was constantly getting worse. It kind of remind me very similar of the Ezra Miller thing where literally every time you looked up, Ezra Miller was doing something else crazy. You look up again, he's doing something else crazy. It just kept constantly getting worse. And that seemed like that's what's happening for him. And it just kind of sucks for him because he's just beginning. He's just becoming really big. And it's like, I just hope that he hadn't did what, you know, he's accused of doing. And I didn't mention in my other video, but basically I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, Oh, I, I just want him to be Kang so much or I, I, I enjoy him as an actor. So I don't care what he did. I just want him to keep playing. Like, no, if he did the stuff that he's accused of doing, of course, he needs to get what he deserves. He needs to be punished in any type of way that they see fit. But if he is innocent, hopefully everything will get dropped and he can get everything back on track. So it kind of looked like the complexion is sort of changing as new evidence showed that the alleged victim was not really a victim, but the person who actually was the abuser. They have evidence that the driver that saw the conflict happen say that Jonathan Majors did not even put a hand on her, that it was her who was putting her hands on him and that he was trying to get away from the whole situation. And so from what we were given before was that, yeah, like during that situation, he beat her to the point where she was unconscious and the police called and he was taken away in custody. And that's not how it happened. Because we see pictures of her going to a nightclub after the incident, like right after the incident and being out until about three something in the morning time. And then she comes home to him and she ends up passed out. And that's when he sees it, he calls the police and he gets arrested because... I don't know. I guess it's some type of mix up. Now, I'm not going to sit here and just kind of look at like the situation doesn't look a little fishy. Certain things are kind of off. I'm not going to say that. But if you have video evidence that this girl who was the alleged victim is out partying right after the incident and is using the hand, the finger that said that was said was broken and literally is using that hand dancing and having a good time after she just got abused then that's really i ain't gonna say a smoking gun but it's damn near close to it and just from everything that happens i mean it makes sense if she's out and she's drinking for a long period of time and everything else and she comes back and she passes out from being drunk and he finds her then it's kind of like everything kind of lines up. But the thing is that I'm thinking about is, for one, why did it take so long to obtain and give this evidence? Why did it take so long? Like, you got this man losing money, like 
large amounts of money. He loses his PR and management team. He loses upcoming future projects. And he and his reputation is essentially being threatened by more females coming out. Now, I don't know if they are just literally saying something just to get money or if he really did in the past do certain things and maybe he's just a changed man now. I don't know. So we're going to see what happens further with that. But as far as the new evidence, it should be a game changer. It should be a game changer for him. And hopefully it is. And hopefully we get down to the bottom and find the truth. And if he is innocent, hopefully everything gets wiped out. Charges get dropped and we can go back to like just enjoy him in the movies that we enjoy him in and not have to think about like the star that he could have been because this whole situation i'm not even gonna imagine like the situation isn't messed up because this this situation is messed up like i said something like this on a person's reputation who's just starting to become a big star can literally stunt their growth and stop it essentially because certain people are only really, really big stars for a certain amount of time, maybe a year or two, maybe three, four. And it's another person who is upcoming and a big star. And then they kind of like fizzle out and just become like a regular star, you know. So nothing needs to really like stun him. And I, I just want him to get back on track. I want him to keep doing what he's doing if he's innocent, if he's innocent. But, you know, if he's not, then, you know, it's whatever. But hopefully we find out that he's innocent and then we can keep moving forward and he can be our king. But uh, yeah, it's just it's it's a whole messed up situation. It's it's a crazy situation. And I, I, I wish the best for him. If he's innocent, I got to state that I wish the best for him. And I hope that, you know, what's happening with him just literally doesn't like mess him up his career, his reputation and everything else. And I hope that he can get back to doing what he more than likely enjoys doing. And uh, if there's any more evidence that the attorney needs to um, bring forward to dismiss certain things and kind of like change the complexion, they, she needs to kind of bring it now before he lose more and more money, essentially maybe even getting dropped from Disney as Kang and replaced. So oh, let's just, see going forward hopefully nothing else drops before i edit this video and put it out but uh until then those are my thoughts up to date and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you made it this far obviously you like this so go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you're not hit the notification bell for more videos like this and i will catch you guys on the next one so peace out and stay safe and please do not, do not get in any trouble.